Good morning, family. It's the Mobile Home Diva. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade cornbread. Now, my kitchen is a mess because I unloaded the dishwasher and didn't put the dishes up. That's because I'm trying to cook. Now, it's 6 54. I'm supposed to clock in at 7, but I'm going to clock in at 7 30 this morning. I worked 11 and a half hours yesterday and I'm tired. My husband didn't get any dinner. So what I did last night was put on a big pot of pinto beans and I did them from scratch. I cooked my smoked turkey while my pinto beans soaked. And then I um, put it all in the crock pot and went to bed. So this morning, put some chicken in the air fryer and that's cooking right now and um, now we're going to get a homemade cornbread so the reason that I turn on the camera is because one of our subscribers asked it for me to show you how I make my cornbread and I did that but I showed you how I make an instant cornbread and kind of make it taste homemade by adding more meal. So today we're going to make a true homemade cornbread. I just need to get these some things out of my way and then I already took that out. All right. So this is the rest of the chicken. This is the rest of the chicken that's going in the air fryer. And let's get our ingredients. Bread. We need flour, meal, eggs. Now you can use either yellow meal or you can use, this is white meal. In this case, I'm going to use yellow meal because it's open. It really doesn't matter which one. And you need milk. So we got our milk, and then we'll start putting our cornbread together. So we're going to use a cup of milk, now I always, y'all know I don't measure stuff out, but I do measure out my cornbread because to me when I'm making it from scratch if I measure it out it comes out just the way I like it. So we did a cup of meal got some flour here in this bag we're going to do a cup of flour I try to remember to put the measurements in the description box. Not quite a cup. All right, got a cup of flour. Make sure you close everything back up. We're gonna do one large egg. I'm gonna start with a cup of milk. I got more milk in the refrigerator. I'm gonna tell you the funny story about this milk. This is actually a gallon of milk. It came in a carton like this. But by the time I got home, milk was everywhere. There was a tiny hole in it. Um, and I had a trace of milk from the car. It's seven o'clock. I had a trace of milk from the car to the um, house, so I had to transfer the milk to something. I had to empty all the water out of this and put milk in it. Okay, so we're going to put 
that's probably a half a teaspoon of salt. And then hold on to your socks, y'all. I'm gonna put a pinch of sugar. Now y'all know I don't like sweet cornbread, but I gotta have just a little bit of sugar to balance the flake the taste out. We're gonna grab a whisk, and as I stated, we got a cup of milk. Pour that in. And we're gonna get to stirring. Let me show you what it looks like. So I believe I just, it's a little thick. I believe I'm just gonna add a little teeny tiny bit more milk. Probably the rest of what's in here. That's it. Yeah. It stirs just a little more easier. Get all the lumps out as best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. And when you get through, it should look like that. See how it wiggles? All right. So now, let's put everything up and we didn't need the milk. If I hadn't had that corner of um, milk in that container, I would have had to go in there, but we were good on that. So now we're gonna grab our pan. Remember we got a pan in the oven heating up. And this is another important step, especially when you have a um, cast iron skillet. Now sometimes you, you, some people may use like a different kind of pan but I like to use a cast iron skillet for a lot of stuff that goes in the oven. My macaroni, my cornbread. What I just did was, oh, y'all wasn't even looking. I took the pan out of the oven, you guys, and I took this paper towel and kind of made sure the oil was all around the sides. You don't want the cornbread to stick to the pan. You want the oil in the cast iron skillet to, to make it, kind of crunch in the end. So that's why we put it in here. It helps with the, uh, how the cornbread just forms. All right. So I always wanna make sure my pan is level so that the cornbread is easily distributed around the pan. You wanna get out as much of that goodness as you can. You don't want the suds to get it. You want the pan to get it. See. And I actually got my oven on 400. But for this homemade bread, it should be on 425. For that mix, it's always 400. But that homemade cornbread, go ahead and put it on 425. It'll be okay. All right. Now we got all our mix out. Pan is still hot, so I'm gonna grab my mitt. I need two of them, because this pan is heavy. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, this is the cornbread going into the oven. All right. So we're gonna put that on the top rack and we're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes. See you guys in 20 minutes. All right, family, 20 minutes is up and um, the cornbread is out. Now, once it was done, it was really light. So what I did was I took, um, I took it off a of bake and put it on broil on high and I just stood here and watched it. So this is the color that it is. Now that it's done, sometimes I'll take it out. Let me see if I can show you the corners. Let's see if I can show you the corners. See the corners, y'all? See how crisp the corners look? 
that's some good cornbread right there so what I do is I take the butter look at those corners y'all Ooh, it's steaming up the camera I take the butter it's hard to do when I'm on looking here let's see if I can look at the cornbread while I'm talking to you and not take you off the bread look at that look how it's just that hot that's hot butter cornbread right there y'all let's get just a little more butter for this side over here I'm going to make sure that all edges and the entire cornbread is covered. And that's it, you guys. That cornbread is go going to soak in that butter. And uh, that's going to be it. Oh, let me show you the chicken. So this is the first batch of chicken out of the uh, air fryer. Crisp, like we like it, love it, and then those are the pinto beans. Mm -mm. Some good eating today, y'all, for a Tuesday. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off, and that's it. That wraps it up.